Good afternoon and welcome. It's Jilly Cube, Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Probably get fed up of hearing that, but for those that sometimes there's new people just joined or just, you know, watching, so I just like to let them know who they're watching. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for commenting, liking and subscribing to my channel. It's uh, what helps all YouTube artists if you do that helps us survive on YouTube so if you haven't subscribed please do so thank you so much okay I should by now have the video out of my mixture that I've been doing and testing so I will I'm doing another test on the same if if you haven't already watched that video I'll put a link I'm not going to go through it all again um, I'll put a link in the uh, comments. The first comment will be a pinned comment from me uh, telling you the link to the video where I actually make the paints up in front of you and show you the ingredients that went into this these particular batches. So I've got one pouring once. I'm going to do a four cup flip and I'm going to do one side with one half of the pouring medium that I tested out that was with Montmartre uh, clear glue and the other side well I'll do the Montmartre this side and the Elmer's glue all on that side so I'm doing a flip cup you will understand what I mean if you've watched the other video where I explain this particular um, formula that I'm using as my pouring medium so I've got all the same colors and I'm going to try and load them into the cups exactly the same way and we're going to see what side uh, works out the best uh, in a flip cup whether it's the Montmartre special pouring medium or the glue all special pouring medium none of these cups have got any silicone in them so they're all with the um, pouring medium that I've been using and the paint so there will be the link if you haven't already watched the video so without further ado do do let's get into this maybe i'll need the bigger cup so if i'm only using four i will do four yeah i'll do four so this side is the glue all try and write upside down mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you can see that just to keep me on track as well <laughs> so we will start off I'll start off with the Montmartre so start off loading the Montmartre so this is just the brilliant white I'll go down the Montmartre side first so that's white that's cardamine Cardamine, Cardamine, Montmartre, Signature Acrylics or Studio Acrylics, I'm not sure what they're. This is the um, My Berry Delicious, it's a custom colour that I make up myself. This particular one I made up with the um, Magenta, Phalo Blue and a Blob of Black. And then this is the... Um, actually I might put white in between those that's the brilliant red that I'm about to put in so it will be yeah, this is the red uh, try and keep, I'm trying to keep all in the same now uh, one last colour and then I'll reload them again is the orange but I want to put some white in between that I think yes that's the friendly gecko we have here tutting at me so this is the orange and I put a good dab of um, yellow in to brighten it up even further as you do so that's that then I'll start back with the colors again this is all the Montmartre side That's that. I'm making sure I use every last bit of my paints up. So 
So it'd be interesting to see what results I get from these particular tests that I'm doing. So back to the custom colour. Finish that one. Back to the brilliant red. We should add, I'll, I'll go that last bit of orange in here. Kind of fiery colours. Really nice, bright, fiery colours. I like it. Finish them both off with the white on the top. So that's all the Montmartre side with the special um, mixture. Okay, we'll go over now. I'll try and speed this up so I won't talk. This is the glue all. I'll sp I put the purple in next, didn't I? Again, on the other one. Where did I go here? little bit of white in here. I think I did on the other one, except I'll run it down the side. Um, go the last bit of orange. Last bit of brilliant red and the oh, I've got just a dribble, a dribble of car, uh, carmine, I think it is. Yeah, okay, that gets that out of the way. One little bit of white on the top. Oh, I didn't end the colors with the same as the other one. Yes, you may tut, Mr. Gecko. Tutting at me for doing it the wrong way round. It's all the same colours though, and it's got the same pouring medium in. So, and I will definitely try to, I'm gonna put one that way, one that way, one that way, one that way. So, here we go. Okay, big flip cup, so. Straight, if you're not confident in flipping your cup, um, slide a piece of card under it maybe. But you know, I find, just go for it. Just 
go for it. It's a good laugh if it goes everywhere, I tell you. Oh. Oh. Come back up here. Come back up here. They're going to slide into one another. Come back, come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Wow. Well, cells already coming on both sides. On the glue all side and the um, Montmartre side. Remember, there's no silicon in these cups. It was just the way I mixed the formula. Um, so please look at the video with the formula because I'm not going to keep going over and over it again. Let's flip this thing. Let's flip this thing. Trousers, trousers. Flipping of lipped. It's Karen Dernish, I think, that created that term flip and lip. Flip the cup and put the lip through it. Wow, wow, wow. Again. Oh my giddyo. Oh, I have to take a photograph of that because the cells just popped up to say hello. I'm just going to take a photo. So I'll let you... I just want to take a photo before it's even done anything. So... Okay, throw some heat on it, see what we can do. I don't want to heat it up too much this stage of it. Let's keep that paint over there a second, there's a little bit left in there. So, it's just the gentle tilt now. It's tipping from side to side, so we get even coverage. Somebody's reminded me I should use edge catchers to capture the paint, but I've never done that, so not really worried about it this is just absolutely stunning just taking photos and getting prints of the really really um fantastic bits in your work is also a good thing to do there's a lot of paint on this and it's i probably could have done it definitely made the mixture a bit thicker i might have got an even better result with a thicker mixture. Wowzers. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. This has gone a bit green, but that is like New Butte Super Duper. That's like the um, Shelley Bloom style with out any effort <laughs> wow 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 let's get this down here definitely the glue all side is that bit thicker because it's not moving as well you can see and now it's it's the Montmartre side is kind of taking over because it's uh, thinner and it's sliding over the top of the glue all there's not really as much happening in the glue all side for sure than than what's happened in the Montmartre side 
I don't really want to run that bit off yet. is unbelievable there I, because I've swished it around so much I obviously didn't need as much paint um, of losing all my gorgeous lacing but it's kind of a lesson to be learned that I need the paint thicker and I certainly don't need as much I need to cover that so you can easy bring some paint up don't worry too much about it because as everything can be fixed up. I've taken some of the glue all side off and adding some of that, but it doesn't matter. You can see the gist of the experiment um, in that that, without running off as much as I did, would have been heaps better. I mean, would putting too much paint on it. Let's give it a blast. the test to see what a flip cup pour had come out like in the um, the formula the new formula that I'd been using and definitely that spot there if I'd have left that uh, without uh, too much paint on it it definitely had too much it's lost it's lovely it was such a beautiful cell action in that a really nice lacing see over the glue all side is not hardly anything happening but this this side on the yeah but you're right wouldn't it i think it's your right or right is a lot of action there that is gorgeous actually the colors just pop out i like it i like it so i will leave you guys there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to rework this canvas um, but that will be on a very short video within a few hours after this video. So bear with me and see what I get on my next exciting experiment. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate you. I do so much. And join me again tomorrow. There'll be something different. Most days I'm trying to do different things. I'm learning different products I'm using different products so come along with me on this journey please subscribe and don't miss a day because I'm here every day so bye for now take care